Well, hey everybody, Doug Rucker here with DougRuckerStore.com and DougRuckerSchool.com. Hey, I uh, had a couple of requests actually about, uh, well, I had one email and then I had another, uh, about hooking up a portable pressure washer, uh, like in a van or something that you could kind of make it semi-portable with hose reels. Um, but still yet move the machine if you needed to. So I'm going to kind of go over the plumbing for the hose reels, looking it up to the machine and all that kind of stuff coming up next. Okay, guys, so remember, we're talking about a hose reel setup and a portable machine that you are not going to run off of a tank. So we've got a hose reel that uh, we're going to bring the water in from the water supply at the customer's home, and then we're gonna feed that directly to the machine. So we're not using a tank or whatever. But a couple of you guys have asked about how, how could I set that up. And so this is the water hose that's gonna be coming into your machine. Let me move the camera down uh, so that you can see the inside part of the reel. Okay, so this is the inside part of the reel. And what you have is, this is the manifold. And so normally on a pressure washer hose reel uh, with pressure hose that you'll see here in a little bit, the water is coming out of this. But for the purpose of hooking up to your water supply, the water is actually gonna be coming in and then it's going to come out on the other side, which is the swivel, which is going to go to your machine. And so what you need to have, obviously, is a garden hose. I use the 5 8 Flexilla, but you can use whatever you want to. And remember that this is the end that's going to go, I'm sorry, this is the end with the swivel, the female end, which is going to go to the water faucet, spigot, water supply, whatever you want to call it, that's hooked up to the house. So what you want to do is you want to take this end and you're going to cut it. And you want to make sure that you cut it, whatever the length is, it's going to be from the swivel over here of your machine, I mean of the hose reel, to your machine. So make sure that you measure that off and you're just going to cut a little piece off. Hopefully the machine can be close to it. If not, just cut off the length that you need. But make sure this is the end that you cut off. Do not cut this end off. I speak from experience. I've done it before on accident and I'm like, oh shoot. But anyway, um, this is the end that's going to go to the supply, to the water supply. So what you need basically for this is you need uh, Teflon tape and you need some block seal and you're going to need two of these half inch threaded by 5 8 barb brass hose barbs. Okay, One is simply going to go here onto the manifold and you're going to use your Teflon tape and the lock seal, wrap it then a little dab of lock seal, tighten her down. The other one is going to go onto the swivel, okay? So the end that you cut off, that's the male end, is going to go over here on the swivel. That's going to your machine, okay? The end that you cut off that's going to the water supply, you're going to put here. And that's going to go out to the water supply, the spigot where you turn the water on. So it would be this end, basically would look like this. If you can imagine the hose would be cut, okay? This would actually all be wrapped up, so don't get confused, but this is the end that would all be wrapped up when you pull this end off and walk out to the house, okay? So it would be all on the reel, all right? So that end, which was this, is going to come out and go to the water supply on the house. The end over here, which you've cut to length to go to your pressure washer, that's the side that's going to go to the pressure washer. 
And so you simply have a garden hose fitting on your pressure washer and it's going to connect to this. And so here's the end that you would cut. This side is going back to the pressure washer and it goes over that hose barb and you're going to put a hose clamp over it. And then this side simply goes into here. Tighten it all the way down um, and make sure it's really good and tight. Make sure you've got your little O-rings in there, the little uh, washers, garden hose washers, because these have a tendency to want to drip leak or whatever so you want to make sure you get that really good and tight so it doesn't leak so basically this allows you if you ever wanted to you could just take this ho garden hose uh, off that's coming from the reel and now your machine is portable so if you're going to do that though remember we've cut this hose and we've slid one end over the hose barb on the inside part of the reel the other side is coming here so that hose that's on your reel you can't use so you're going to want to have another um, fully intact garden hose to hook up to this machine if you're going to make it portable and wheel it to a uh, by a water supply or whatever okay so that's basically how you do the water supply so let's get to the pressure hose next okay guys so just to recap just remember you'll need two of these uh, brass hose barbs. These are half inch threaded by 5 8 hose barb. And so you're simply cutting the male end. Make sure you do the male end, which is this end of the hose. You're going to cut it and you're going to cut a piece off as long as you need to get from the hose reel over to the machine, however far that machine is from your hose reel. Um, so you need that, and then the other is the garden hose that's going to hook to the house. You're going to make sure you just slide the hose over that, clamp it, and you're good to go. And then same thing on the swivel side. Um, you're just going to take the piece of hose that you cut off, slide it over, hose clamp it, and you're good to go. And then just connect it to the machine. Just make absolute certain, I can't stress it enough, that you're cutting the right end off. Don't cut the end off that's the female end, this end right here. Don't cut that. Just remember, that's the end that hooks up to the house. You do not want to cut this end. You want to cut that end, the male end. Okay? Now, let's get to the pressure hose. Hey, I uh, just want to remind you guys, we have coming up our events that are happening and trainings that are happening. We have May 8th and 9th, which is just a couple of weeks, our next monthly hands-on training that we do here in Houston every month. So if you're interested in that, make sure you get registered for that at pressurewashingschool.com slash events. And then also our Difference Makers uh, conference is coming up June 8th and 9th with myself, Jeffrey Blackman, uh, Von Cross, Mitch Beckman, I think is going to be here again. So, you know, we're going to be covering a lot of things from the business end of your business. This is not about training you how to clean or start a pressure washer or uh, anything like that. It's really kind of taking your business to the next level. We'll be covering commercial uh, sales, residential high-end sales. We've got a uh, accountant, uh, CPA coming in talking about money matters, tax things, setting your business up, all of that kind of stuff. So that's uh, June 8th and 9th. That's a Thursday and Friday. I think on June 10th, which is Sunday, we're going to do an open house uh, here at the store. And then June, let's see, 8th, 9th, 10th, 11th, and 12th is our June uh, hands-on training, monthly training, again, that we do every month. I've been doing for the last 10 or 12 years. So we're kind of making it a weekend. So if you want to come for the Difference Makers, we kind of give you a reason to stay because we'll have a lot of other things going on, which a lot of people took advantage of at the last uh, Difference Makers conference. So... Um, Get signed up for that. Again, any of those at pressurewashingschool.com slash events. Okay, guys. So for the pressure reel 
Um, I'm going to use a piece of whip line to show you. This will act as the pressure hose. Normally, you're going to have like 100 feet or 150 feet or 200 feet, whatever. But I'll use this not only as the pressure hose, because I don't want to pull out a, a long piece of hose for this demonstration. Um, and then it'll also be the whip line that's going from your uh, machine to the hose reel. So what you'll need for this is you'll need two quick connect sets. You're going to need one that's a male pipe thread, which is uh, like this. Okay, that's the male pipe thread. And then you're going to need a female pipe thread set. You'll actually uh, need two of these if you're buying pressure hose. You'll need this for your pressure hose. Um, and this is uh, the male pipe thread thread set is just for the hose reel okay you'll also need two of these reducing bushings these are half inch male by three eighths female these are on our website all of this stuff is on our, our website you'll need some teflon tape if you don't have any you can pick this up on the website as well or uh, home depot lows or whatever and then we use this lock seal um, for any time anytime we're doing metal to metal it's always Teflon tape and uh, lock seal. If we're doing plastic to metal or plastic to plastic, then we use this True Blue. And again, that's on the website as well. But this is all metal to metal, so we don't really need to use any True Blue. You could, on the garden hose, if you wanted to, use this True Blue um, for those brass barbs. But I think I most often use uh, the Teflon and the lock seal. Uh, so you'll need these two reducing bushings. One is going to go here on the manifold part. And I, by the way, I've got another uh, video showing actually with the three stack kit how you do all this too. But I kind of wanted to do this for the couple guys that emailed me for their van. The other reducing bushing is going to go into the swivel. And then you're going to use your mail pipe thread fittings, and in my case, as I've always stated, my outlet, the water, my outlet fitting is always the plug, so the plug is always flowing through the plug the way I set mine up. Some people do it opposite, where the water flows through the coupler, and again, it's a personal preference. There's no right way or wrong way. Um, it's just however you decide to do it. I just always was taught the plug points the way of the water flow. So that's how I do it. So since the water is coming out of the reel here on the swivel, I'm going to put my male fitting here. And remember, you're going to be Teflon taking these and using that uh, lock seal, these two things, so that uh, they get a good, good tight fit. And then over here on the swivel, we're going to have the female coupler which goes there okay and so what would happen is for the pressure hose I'm going to take the female coupler which is this this is a female 3 8 coupler and I the way I do it is I simply hook this like that okay this just allows me, anytime I'm on a job that I want to drop the hose, take it off easily, a hose bust or whatever, I can easily move this, take this hose off, replace it, um, whatever I need to do. Sometimes we're on commercial jobs and we want to move, we can just simply take this off, drop it, move the truck without having to reel the whole, whole hose up, drag the hose down to where we're moving. So it's just kind of a matter of figuring out, okay, it, would it be quicker if I rolled the hose up, or would it be quicker if I just dropped it and then moved the hose manually? All right? So that would go there, and then this is the end that you put the male plug with the female threads on the end of your pressure hose, and then your ball valve setup, your gun, all of that can go there. Okay? So that's the pressure hose side of uh, the hose reel that you're using to spray with. So next, let's go over getting the uh, the whip line to 
the machine. Okay, so I just realized that my little microphone was laying down on the uh, table here. I had to go over to get the fittings and lock seal and stuff like that to show you guys. So you might hear me a little bit better, but I just listened to it and it sounded fine. So I'm not going to repeat everything I just did about the pressure hose. So on your whip line, you've got, uh, like I mentioned, you've got the same half inch to three eighths reducing bushing there. And so this is the whip hose already set up. And since we have the female end coming out here, we're just simply going to hook our whip hose up and you just need to order the whip line. I think they're listed on the website as a whip line. And so that's going to hook to this part here and then it's going to go over to the machine and it's going to plug in to my outlet fitting on my machine. And that's going to look just like this. So, hopefully you can see that. This is the inlet, I mean, sorry, this is the outlet fitting. I have the plug coming off the machine, and so the female end just couples onto that. And if you had a downstream injector, you had a downstream injector for it, then of course you would just put your downstream injector on here, and then hook the coupler like that. So now you have the downstream ejector, you've got it hooked to the machine, and then you've got your whip hose, which is going back to the hose reel. So the important thing is just to make sure that whatever whip line you're ordering is going to be the length you need that goes from the hose reel to the machine. We sell them at two feet, three feet, four feet, six feet, eight feet, ten feet, whatever. Okay. So that's basically how you set up your hose reels in order to feed a portable machine, but you want to make it, you know, still portable so that you can uh, take the machine out of the van if you need to. What I would suggest you have, though, is you just have a separate, have a separate hose uh, because when you cut this off, on the hose reel for the garden hose when you cut that off you know you can't use that hose again and that's the way I do it I just like doing that you could get some I think some uh, garden hose adapter fittings so that it screws in but I don't like those because they always have a tendency to leak and loosen up and all that kind of stuff I like doing it with the uh, brass barbs okay Hey everybody, thanks so much for watching. I hope this has been helpful for you. Uh, if it has, maybe hit that subscribe button, uh, hit the bell so you get notifications. That kind of lets you know whenever uh, I come out with something that could help you. And if you have any questions uh, or comment, uh, always try to answer those as soon as I possibly can. So leave me a question or comment down below and hit that like button as well. Uh, again, appreciate it. Hope everybody is having an awesome day and an awesome week. And we will talk to you guys on the next video. Hey, uh, just want to remind you guys, we have coming up our events that are happening and trainings that are happening. We have May 8th and 9th, which is just a couple of weeks, our next monthly hands-on training that we do here in Houston every month. So if you're interested in that, make sure you get registered for that at pressurewashingschool.com slash events. And then also our Difference Makers uh, Conference is coming up June 8th and 9th with myself, Jeffrey Blackman, uh, Von Cross, Mitch Beckman, I think is going to be here again. So, you know, we're going to be covering a lot of things from the business end of your business. This is not about training you how to clean or start a pressure washer or uh, anything like that. It's really kind of taking your business to the next level. We'll be covering commercial uh, sales, residential high-end sales. We've got a... Uh, uh, accountant, uh, CPA coming in, talking about money matters, tax things, setting your business up, all of that kind of stuff. So that's uh, June 8th and 9th. That's a Thursday and Friday. 
I think on June 10th, which is Sunday, we're going to do an open house uh, here at the store. And then June, let's see, 8th, 9th, 10th, 11th, and 12th is our June uh, hands-on training, monthly training, again, that we do every month. I've been doing for the last 10 or 12 years. So we're kind of making it a weekend. So if you want to come for the Difference Makers, we kind of give you a reason to stay because we'll have a lot of other things going on, which a lot of people took advantage of at the last uh, Difference Makers conference. So um, get signed up for that. Again, any of those at pressurewashingschool.com slash events.